The Blizzard LB PAR Hex is a new standard in compact, cost-effective and versatile LED PAR style lighting. Oh, and did I say bright? The true power of this fixture lies in the brightness and flexibility of the 12 15 watt LEDs. Each LED is capable of producing red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV or ultraviolet, more commonly recognized as black light. The ability of the fixture to blend these colors represents virtually limitless color choices. The addition of amber and white provide even greater visual flexibility. The amber LED will provide vivid yellows and oranges. The white LED provides the pure hot white of auditorium spots and also allows the fixture to function as a blinder or a bright white strobe. White and amber LEDs can also be combined to create a warmer incandescent tone of light. The hex is ideal for permanent and portable applications. The molded composite housing is both durable and lightweight, weighing only 5 pounds or 2.3 kilograms. The versatile bracket can be used for use on a flat surface or hung using virtually any mounting device. The Blizzard Multi-Clamp is a versatile mounting accessory that allows the fixture to be easily used with one, one and a half and two inch pipe. Check with blizzardpro.com for a variety of mounting products. The fixture can be either controlled via any DMX controller or be operated in a standalone mode with no external controller. There are several options in this mode we'll discuss later. The rear connections include a menu display screen, four buttons for adjusting settings, DMX control input, DMX output for connecting to additional fixtures, power in connector for connecting to AC power. This fixture uses PowerCon style connectors, which are becoming more of a standard in lighting because of the secure connection. The power out connector allows you to provide power directly to another nearby fixture with PowerCon extensions of course available from Blizzard. Several LB PAR hex fixtures power can be daisy chained together. Also on the rear is a built-in microphone and sensitivity control for the sound activated mode. Let's run through a short tutorial on how the menu settings are made. Changing a fixture settings follows a standard procedure found on many LED fixtures. First, press the menu button until you see the function you wish to change. Second, press Enter to display the options. Third, use the up and down buttons to choose your setting. And fourth, press Enter to select the setting. Your choice is now stored in the light. Note that there are a few settings that only need to use Enter as they are simple on and off functions. Also note that while you're stepping through the menus, if you pass your choice, you can use the arrow buttons to move up or down the list. If the fixture has been used before and you're not sure what settings are stored in the fixture, it's often a good idea to reset the fixture and start over. To do this, press the menu button until you see Reset. Press Enter, then up to choose Yes, and Enter again. Most typically your fixture is used as part of a DMX controlled system. The first menu options are for setting this up. To set the DMX address, press the menu button to display ADDR, or address, then press enter. Now use the up or down buttons to choose a DMX starting address. This will be from 1 to 512. Once your choice is in the display, press enter. The address is now stored in the fixture. If the fixture is set to a DMX address, the address will show up in the display when powered up. Also, if a DMX signal is present, a small red dot will show up here. Pressing Menu again will bring you to Menu 2, which is Channel Selection. This is where you will choose how many functions of the light you want your DMX controller to control. You have two options. Number 1 will give you individual brightness control of the six LEDs. This will allow for unlimited color selection. Option 2 will allow for controlling 11 functions of the light. In addition to controlling the brightness of the six color LEDs, 
you also have a master level fader, strobe control, and 13 preset color changing options. Here you control the speed of the programs. Finally, you can adjust the smoothness of the fades. One of the preset programs allows you to set the fixture to sound active mode from your controller. This will make the fixture change color to the ambient music playing near the fixture. More on this later. There are several options if you wish to use the fixture on its own with no external controller. First, let's look at the program option, shown as PR. There are 13 preset color changing options available. Check the manual for descriptions. To activate this, go to the PR menu and press Enter. Make your choice. Then press Enter again. It is now stored. To change the speed of the program, choose the menu SP, which is for speed. This can adjust from 0, the slowest, to 99, the fastest. Next is sound activated mode. To make the light automatically change color to ambient music, press the menu to arrive at sound. Press enter. The display will now show SOU or sound. Place some music in proximity of the light and turn the sensitivity knob until the fixture responds to the music how you would like it to. Usually the higher the sensitivity, the faster the light changes. If you would like the LB hex just to stay on as a single color, choose Color. Then press Enter. There are 63 color options to choose from. After selecting a color, press Enter to store it. If you would like the color to strobe on and off, select Strobe. Select your speed from 0 to 20 and press Enter to save. The next six menus are level controls for the six LEDs. These are pretty much for crazy people who need to mix a specific color and are generally not used. The Node menu will give you four options for controlling the dimming smoothness of the standalone programs. If your fixture is used where the audience can see the back of it, the display might be distracting. The LED menu will allow you to turn this annoyance off. After 30 seconds, the display will turn off, leaving only a small red light. As soon as you press any button, the display will return. Our last menus are for diagnostics and, of course, our lovely little reset button. Also, when using an LB hex in standalone mode, you can daisy chain other fixtures off a single light to run in unison. Here's a little tip. If you'll be needing to change settings often for different shows, we suggest printing the menu options on printable tape and attaching to the rear of the fixture for fast access. Although most menus will not be used, this is a great way to find your way around quickly. Remember that whatever setting you have your fixture set to, it will stay in that setting even after being powered off and back on. Although there's no marking, this fixture is compatible with the Blizzard Wicycle system. This means that a Wicycle receiver can be plugged into this fixture to receive DMX signals from a Wicycle transmitter. The receiver will also receive its power from the fixture. If you find your fixture is not responding properly, refer to the manual or contact the manufacturer for troubleshooting help. Here are a few things to try. Make sure your fixture is set to the correct DMX address. Is one fixture showing a wrong color? Check the channel setting to make sure it is set properly, either 1 or 2. If DMX signal is coming in, this light will be on. If sound mode is not working, make sure the fixture is set to sound. If it still does not work, try adjusting the sensitivity knob, or you might have to move it closer to a speaker. And remember, if you're not quite sure who was using it last, just hit the reset and start over. 
So if you're looking for a great pro light fixture with amazing versatility, and did I say bright? At an incredible price. Well, here it is. 